Hello and welcome to another week of events and updates related to Epic Heroes. Save as many animals as you can. So the current events we're having now is the Stargazing Room and Plain Badge. So without any further ado, let's get started. And the first thing, we are finally gonna be at VIP level 10. Let's claim the last VIP reward needed to that upgrade. Wow, look at that. So we moved from VIP level 9, which took an extensive amount of time, to VIP level 10. Maximum number of heroes, uh, auto yield, gold finger purchases. A number of things have been supposedly increased. So at VIP level 10, we're going to get the frame that is going to give us HP plus 10%, attack plus 10%. We're also going to get a copy of Rex and one unnecessary copy of an equipment. Let's claim this. 4% bonus for recharging red diamonds. Learn more. That's related to the red diamonds. And now we're at VIP level 10. First, let's see that Rex that we got. Let's summon. Okay, so that's one copy. Now let's go and have a look at that frame. And let's go to statuses and then the frame. And this is the attack plus 10 and HP plus 10. Okay, let's switch to this one. Let's look at the frame also. That's the status frame. There's a status frame and a frame that just is for appearance. All right, so we got the attack and HP plus 10. That takes us to 87. Let's see without it what would be the difference on, on, uh, on the attack and HP plus 8. Let's see that. 86. Okay, not bad. Right. Let's put it back, selecting it, attack and HP plus 10 and plus 10. Alright, let's get started with the events, plain badge, the usual first thing every single day you're gonna log in, claim the 10 or the 5 plain badges that will be given to you. Those plain badges, you're going to be using them to exchange in the badge store. So you have a number of badges required for each exchange. For this one, I would advise going for the S-Hero Relics Custom Card and also the 4-Star Universal Stigmata Optional Pack. Unless you have something specific you want to go for. Other than this, unless you're paying, uh, you're going to be needing 500 and above for all the remaining ones. The direction is very simple. You would finish all the quests that are in the dailies and then you would just collect the plain badges in the plain badge quests. And the pickup 10 hours that relies on the auto yield. So you're going to have to build it up as the time progresses. And then it will automatically show. It's a number of hours pretty much. 10 hours for each uh, one round. So aside from that, as soon as you collect a specific amount of plain badges, you can exchange it for the rewards on the left side. As you can see here. And also we have Hero Reborn. If we go to Hero Reborn, it will allow you to exchange for one of the elite heroes, uh, depending on you have sufficient blood phrasal to exchange. Can be four and can be six K. So one is gonna be S hero and one is gonna be S plus hero. The exchange is very simple. You just need to collect the blood phrasal by destroying common heroes, which are ranked B, save it up until this event comes and then exchange directly depending on which heroes they select to add for that round. All right, so we've logged in daily. You also have the watch ads to get, uh, and it gives you 20 blue diamonds and three plain badges. You can do that, I'll do it off screen. And log in daily, complete the quests, and build up your plain badges until you actually reach 200 or at least 150, and then you can do the exchange so that's very simple it doesn't have star track included with it so that kind of helps all right let's go to the stargazing which is the second event that's available today first thing you would do is the star login you log in and collect the common star cards try to save them up a little and do x10 if possible then you have a number of quests you can complete challenge five times in the arena when five times in time travel 
as soon as you do the time travel quest you can just collect it and then you need to challenge the daily arena a couple of times total five times five will be the amount needed which is gonna take you a little bit of time an easier way to just go there click on go go to the daily tournament each round requires five wins or five challenges at least even if you lose so you will battle like this using the skip functionality repeat it again until you start reaching five battles and that will be one round again so the total is 25 needed rounds or battles that you need to do all right let's go back and then enter again into the stargazing look at the star quest and another cycle has been completed now the next thing you have of course is to pick up the fifth chest on daily quests this is the daily quests your dailies the quests that you need to finish every single day and then you have awaken an epic hero and then awaken a legendary hero i just left the legendary to showcase it let's just awaken rex first okay and then let's take rex directly to mystic it's been a while since it's been upgraded or awakened all right so we need now to take a hero to legendary first let's select a hero we have enough copies excellent from that hero to awaken all right let's go with this i'm gonna awaken her to epic plus and then legendary then we're gonna go back directly to the stargazing room look at the star quest and we completed round one now we're gonna have to do the same thing again to complete round number two so again we're gonna select this i have excellent copies that she can consume to become epic plus and then a copy of her exactly at excellent plus that will take her to legendary and that would complete the second quest needed now since we have 33 let's go into the cycle of how this works actually the stargazing room there are different rewards that the stargazing room can give you depending on the cards you have which are common star card intermediate and advanced you'll be able to summon it's a summoning a drawing the common ones have different rewards as you can see here on the screen the intermediate have a bunch of different upgraded rewards including the secret guardian one of the new very nice very sweet sigil and then the advanced same rewards but an upgraded version of it including common summon scrolls at a higher amount excellent faction and one six star secret guardian stigmata selection card you can see the rewards and what you might get with the percentage of the drop rate all right so this cycle follows that you will first summon here right the common and then you'll get guards uh, cards to summon into in the intermediate and then those cards you'll eventually get cards to summon in the advance if you didn't get that pretty much by summoning it gives you cards from the common to the intermediate and from the intermediate the advanced all right uh, by the way you can always buy directly the advanced ones and save your time let's do the first 10 and the recommendation is to do x10 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 so we got one intermediate card let's do the next x10 all right nice more intermediate card let's do the last x10 and we got three star secret guardian stigmata selection card this card will give us the ability to select one sigil depending on our selection of the position that is at three stars from the new secret guardian shiny looking gold all right so now we don't have enough common star cards to actually summon again we're not going to do one 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 by one so we're going to stop at uh, that point we're going to get more cards later and we can finish the five times in the arenas uh, battling including the common summon cards that you can get from pick up the fifth chest of daily quests so we're not going to do anything in these now we're just going to wait until the new day resets and that would be it for the two events available at the same time we still have the gear tomb event the equipment tomb if you haven't noticed it i believe now you know 
pretty much the direction is to get it to the maximum which is level 30 during the 14 or 15 days by doing that you'll gain shards for t1 divine stones it's been actually available for uh, over a week all right let's go here and do a small amount of summoning we don't have any much, any too much uh, common summon scrolls and then one and then we're gonna add something interesting because now we're gonna do the 1000 love summoning now the thing i noticed is in the game if you try to collect above 999 we're talking about 1000 love summoning the game will stop you the maximum amount of love you can collect is 999 if you get it somewhere else by heroes you still can exceed the 999 so now we know all right let's start with the first 10 and let's see if we can get something good from the love summoning usually at this amount that's going to be done you might get an s hero at least that's the second let's go to the third the fourth the fifth mm -hmm. too many b heroes as you can see it's a fountain of b heroes seventh we're not gonna get even one s let's see i think it's the last one yeah this is the last one Ooh. oh we still have okay all right so we kind of absolutely got nothing this time previous times we were at least able to get something acceptable so it kind of didn't pay off this time to save that amount unfortunately yep still doesn't want to give unfortunately all right before we carry on let's look at different things we have done in the game over the period of time that has passed for starters we're gonna get a copy of the fairy of music jane in almost four days from now three days or four days uh we've also collected a number of resources as you can see we're building up we have now one three star gym chest five two star 501 gym chests 304 t2 which is nice 110 source of evil 20 divine and 10 lovely chests of uru reincarnation treasure wise we're still carrying on on the building cycle but we kind of got lucky a couple of times so now we have the galaxy maxed out the chronos still uh, it's gonna take some time the sanctuary we finally finished all the treasure collection still needs to be upgraded all of it and the creation we got lucky uh, twice with the chest the blessing treasure and now we're currently waiting so so early for the next reset so we can collect another one so now we're looking at more reincarnation creation treasure that has been gained interestingly if you don't know uh, this one the leviathan armor gives all units critical resistance so this one can increase your critical resistance for all the heroes this one gives sunder increasing it to all your heroes and this one is just for god heroes to receive less damage they're very cool and very nice and can make a difference if you have more uh, creation reincarnation treasure as you can see and you're not going to be able to upgrade it the maximum of the five stars until you actually get the sanctuary treasure pieces now to get the sanctuary treasure pieces easier you'll need to upgrade all the sanctuary to level five then when you get one of the reincarnation treasure for the ones you have it will be turned turned into shards so at that stage you still might not be able to get it until you finish a good chunk of the sanctuary treasure Overall, uh, this is what we're getting. HP, attack, broken armor, HP and attack by percentage, force by percentage, additional fixed HP, critical resistance, faction bonus, force resistance, and additional fixed attack. Overall, when it comes to going to the star tech, uh, we already know that we finished the four main ones, right? as you can see. 
they have been finished fully upgraded all that good good stuff and now we're actually focusing on the last one remaining which is the god universe 793 so it is time consuming and it really takes a lot of upgrades to finish all of this all right let's go back for now and look at the next thing in updates of where we are in the game union tech you already know we finished the Union Tech a while back, a couple of months now. Uh, Union Institute is heavily time consuming, but we're trying to build it and max all of it out because it really does make a difference. As you can see, this is what we're looking at. Not the best, but we're trying to finish more of it. So it's fully complete. Now, this, these four... Uh, sorry, these five help in increasing damage for the heroes that are in the sub faction. As you can see, they're portrait on the below. It increases the damage to healer uh, when you're attacking a healer or a raider or a warrior or a ranger or a mag. Then you have more immunity, or it becomes more difficult to to be silenced or disarmed, petrified or charmed, twining, which is like Lady Ivy paralyzing also which is like Jane. Um, and then you have more immunity against getting stunned like Rockefeller. Here, these last two are essential and important because they increase the critical damage resistance and the critical resistance. Upgrading them makes life very nice and easier when you're taking damage. So, five to cause more damage. 4 to protect you from statuses or illnesses from statuses and 2 for the critical and critical damage resistance. Overall the game is changing in many different ways and it's becoming more difficult to actually keep up with uh, players and all the upgrades and all the emerging of different servers so it's become more difficult to competition for the strongest including the announcement that they had a while back which is welcome to the T3 land. T3 or the new T3 upgrade is available for people and you can actually select a class uh, to upgrade the T3 and you're going to be needing the T3 divine stone. Now T3 divine stone is something I have not seen it uh, all around the game until now. Pretty much it's not showing when you go to time travel, which is the main area you go for to get in the shards for T1 and T2. But if you go to the limited gear tomb and then equipment pack, voila, look, it's the T3 divine stone. You can actually buy it with money. It's still not applicable for all players to have it in an easier direction. All in all, the T2 is fantastic in giving you let's just show how it looks with someone who doesn't have it yet one of the heroes in selecting an attribute the t2 helps you to increase the power of your hero whether it's critical damage critical attack speed or hp now the t3 on the other hand takes it to a whole completely different level you select a class for instance and we're looking at the God Slayer. So he's a class of warrior. By the way, this is the way uh, so you can know the class of your hero. Warrior. If you go to Storm Falcon. Ranger. Okay. So uh, let's go back to him because he has T2. So he's a warrior. You would select warrior. You would click on yes. And then you would upgrade if you have the requirements needed for to take the equipment to T3. So from that, it looks fantastic in its appearance. Uh, it will give your hero plus 5% attack and plus 5% HP. So it is fantastic, especially if you are trying to rank up and have extra attack and extra HP given to you easily by just the equipment. You're going to have to wait for that to happen, unfortunately. Aside from that, there hasn't been any much additions in the game lately, except they added more stages uh, in X War. Still haven't seen that. I'm far away from it, and I'm actually more on the stopping cycle, not trying to advance with speed because you will get stuck no matter what you try to do again and again and again in the game. Positively, at challenge 30 i'll get another copy of time so i can continue building him 
for now I'm not trying to advance in X war we are at X war 38 currently Wow right so X war 38 25 uh, the enemy is getting pretty much extremely difficult and you're gonna be starting to see more heroes uh, mixed with well Tuku, Storm Falcon, uh, the Great Sage, God, Hero, Universe, all of it. You're gonna be fighting pretty much different heroes that are usually strong across the game. You have also the stages that have Zeus and have Queen of Desert, you also have the God Slayer, Light is gonna be appearing soon when you're advancing X War. Not only in Galaxy Wanted, you'll see Light in X War also. X War is gonna be coming more and more difficult, so you need to power up and gain more HP and attack by the reincarnation treasure. Aside from that, Galaxy Wanted update, we're currently at Galaxy Wanted 915. And we used the new hero that came out recently to actually, well, skip the stages a little bit. Gain some additional buff. So the current new hero that still uh, will take time to build, here he is. He was used because of his ability by using the trial version. So now you know whenever there's a new hero, you can use the trial version to try and skip a couple of stages in galaxy wanted at least he is nice fantastic and great we still have a bunch of heroes to finish up as you can see and we still have a small amount of heroes to collect so overall we are looking at more upgraded more awakened heroes as you can see and still the cycle carries on because the awakening really takes time Still to be awakened, still to be fixed in many different things at Transcend. We have Moonlight Paladin. Uh, Jane is currently at Transcend also. Mystic plus Satan. So there is a couple of heroes that still need to be awakened and upgraded as a standard heroes that will be used overall across the game. And then we still have the lingering god slash universe heroes all right guys that's overall how far we currently are in the game by the time we take it from vip level 10 